So welcome back to Fable. We're here in Morningwood. I'm gonna burp. I didn't say when. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't do it yet. So I've I've been saving up some cash while I've been eating. I think I've got about ten grand. So I want to buy some stuff. Because come nightfall, it's one of the most dangerous places in Elden. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but I'm starting to get a rash. Can I jump down off the edge of that bridge? I think I can. Right. We've got, like I said, ten grand. So, we need to start building things. Or not building things, but you, you get me drift. You get me drift. We're going to buy this. Boom. Adjust the prices. Boom. We are going to buy... Oh, God. This. Boom. Repair. Adjust the prices. I think I've got enough for maybe two more houses. <laughs> My big spending spree isn't going too well because some of these are a lot more expensive than I was expecting them to be. But they've got some good return. Look at that 400. Holy shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> we got like two or three houses. That'll do for now, I guess. Got some more money rolling in. I'm going to try and hold off. I'm not going to buy anything until we're done now in Morningwood. Just like fighting no, sorry. by father's side. I told you <clears throat> what it was like standing next to a hero. I think there's a chest up there, but I'm not particularly bothered right now. A lot of stuff that we're gonna be getting in chest just isn't gonna be that great, so I know that I'm missing some. Probably also missing some dig spots and stuff. I think we're almost there. I've gotta try and take an antihistamine. I'll do it in a minute when the cutscene starts. So this one is going to give us a pistol that is really, really good for taking out hollow men. Uh, pardon me. So we're going to go equip it. The Bone Smasher. So info, the latest technology has gone into creating the pistol especially designed to shatter hollow men into very small pieces. So we can go ahead and equip that, and you can see just then, hopefully... Oh, we can actually sell these. <laughs> I had no idea. But we can open up the info tab, and it says here how our weapons are actually moulding. So your victories over hollow men have transformed the handle of your weapon into a bone-like substance. And that's obviously the same for the sword and everything else. Again, I don't know if these are like things that you can avoid, or whether they're going to happen inevitably. Maybe if you go off and you kill a shit ton of wolves or something and then you get the upgrade, maybe that will help, I don't know. Or maybe the bandits. Right, well, hurry up, because I want to have one of my pills. I must be one of the only people that pops pills while playing this game. <coughs> Pardon me. I have a proposition. You came all this way to proposition. I'll make it out of here alive. I thought you were here to save us from the legions of the dead. Then, Finn, it's good to see you. I take it the legends about. We've got Simone Pegg. We've never seen so many hollow men in one place. We've been stationary ever weeks, trying to eradicate them. Mainly, it's us getting eradicated. We lost some good men last night, including Lieutenant Simmons here. And the buggers will be back tonight. Logan just loves to send you on the best assignments, doesn't he? That's part of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is this... The Prince. Yes. I'll explain. Just treat him like any other pair of hands for now. No wonderful. Captain Finn will show you to the mortar. We could use a, a body up there. Meet me on the wall when you're ready. I'll introduce you to Private Jammy. So cool because he's the luckiest sod in the fort. 
You'll probably be stuck by that mortar all night. But take a look around first. Talk to the men. It never hurts to know who's got your back. I'm alright, actually. I don't feel like I need to. So, we're gonna go learn how to use the mortar, like this foot like this upcoming section is like fairly straightforward, a lot of fighting and stuff. Um we're gonna buy some of these though. We can actually buy five for two hundred. That's not bad, is it? Oh, there's five left, I see. Well, I'm just going to buy them all, because <laughs> I really don't want to die. Right, let's head round. I, I came over here because I was like, oh, there's an anvil. I wonder if I can do some work here, but it's not a shop, so... It's more of, like, for repairs and stuff. Oh, obviously me trying to uh, buy another house. Completely forgot that I'm not doing that. Not right now. Jimmy. I don't suppose you've ever used a mortar before. There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um, <clears> I'm <throat> sure you'll pick it up. No, I'll pick up any maiming. Private Jenny, he'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. It's true what they say about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. Seven hundred and twenty-four wounds and still standing. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jamie. It's time to show him the ropes. Yes, sir. Right then. My life's gonna be in your hands, so let's make sure you you know what you're doing, okay? Go on, grab the mortar, and we'll do some practice shots. Okay. Right, let's see what you've got. See that scarecrow over there? Blow it. That one. Yes! Kaboom, bitch! Uh, I mentioned in the previous episode that I had Stardew Valley and Fallout 76. If those are things that you would be interested in seeing on the Purple Brawlit or on this channel at some stage, let me know. Uh -oh. This is like the most satisfying part of this game. <laughs> it's just bombing these hollow men. I really like moments like this in video games, and they're quite common um, in games around this time. Like, I think Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had it at like the start of the game, and I played a game recently that also had it. I think it might have been World War Z, but admittedly that came out a little bit later. Oh, there's one left there. Jammy! Boom, bitch! Uh oh, there's quite a few here. I actually don't know if there's any way to fail this. It might just be a case of kill, kill, kill. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I've restarted this game or joined people in co-op like that have tried getting into Fable, I've never gotten to the Aurora part, so that's going to be very, very interesting. I've always gotten up to the Bowerstone Reaver section and then that's it. Jabe! But yeah, I'd be totally down for doing like a Stardew Valley playthrough at some stage. Um, though it would probably be quite edited um, and quite long episodes or something. I don't know. don't really know what format I would do for that. But it's something that I feel like I should probably do eventually. It seems like a staple at this point. Everyone's got a Stardew Valley playthrough and I kind of feel a little bit left out. <laughs> and then Fallout 76 I imagine I'd put on the Purple Brawley channel and we'd continue the story of Oliver somehow since we sort of finished that story in quite a tame way. Oh my god, there's loads. We might find out if you can fail it. Boom!
I also want to address <laughs> Um, if if you comment and you reference a specific thing in the video, you might have to put some context to it because I really can't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody commented on a, on a video the other day and I can't remember exactly what they had said but they were referencing something that I had said and I could not for the life of me fucking remember what they were on about and like I ain't gonna go back through like a 30 minute video to find out. Did they get jammy? I think they did. So yeah if, <laughs> if there is something you're referencing please put it into context for me. Because I would like to know what it is, preferably. Uh oh. They're too strong. I'm wiping my nose, I'm wiping my nose, I'm a little bit snotty all of a sudden. Oh my god. I used to love this part as a kid because it was the first time I think you ever got to play with a large amount of AI. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh, shit. I couldn't move. <laughs> but I used to think this part was so fucking cool because, like, at the time I was playing Fable, uh, Fable 3. I was playing uh, Halo 3 and games like that where you had AI followers and stuff or, like, AI that you could fight alongside. And that used to be my favourite thing. It's why I like Fable. Uh, oh my god. It's why I like Fallout 2 so much. Two? What am I even saying? The Jeff. The Death. The, the Jeff of Death. The death of Jeff. <laughs> I'm giving up. It's why I like Fallout 4 so much. Jesus Christ, all these game tiles sound the fucking same. Jammy's just died. Fuck me, man. I'm one-hitting Hollow Men. This is insane. I should not be one-hitting fresh Hollow Men. I also shouldn't be mixing up the titles of Fable and Fallout, but they're just so fucking similar. That's kind of one hitting him, depending on how close I get. No, it's not. <laughs> Just shot one point blank in the face and it took two. Well, they're getting stronger. <clears throat> yes, I agree. <laughs> mm. I think it's actually different types of them. So the melee ones go down in one, but the, the gun ones go down in two. Is what it looks like. Go, other man. We will defend this area with this man. This man and his guitar. One man and his legitoot. Legitoot? Le loot. Le giloot. Kita. I'm just saying whatever syllables pop into my head. I've already fucked this episode by calling Fallout 4, Fable 2, or whatever. <laughs> My point was that I really like playing alongside AI in video games, like I like having a team. Um, it's why I enjoyed Metro quite a lot actually, because you've always got like an AI alongside. And of course to top it all off my fucking recording freezes, pricks, pricks, and more pricks. I give up, I'm not talking about anything I feel passionate about because the game hates me, my recording hates me, everyone hates me. Everyone hates me, stop doing State of Decay, now everyone hates me. <laughs> I'm just fucking going off. I've had enough. Fuck everyone. Kill the goddamn hollow men. I think they're only spawning over here now, which is a shame. Yeet. Finish him. He's not broken. Oh, I think he has died though. Oh, the dog dealt with him. I forgot about my uh, spells. Bloody hell. Way, good job, Ben. Speaking of hail, hail. What are we having a pint of? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, everyone's down. Of course they are. There's always these moments in a Fable game. Do 
Do do do do do do do do do do do Look how much damage I'm gonna do to him. Fuck you. Is he already dead? Oh no, he's manifested himself over there. Yeet. There we go. Get that on the go. I ain't dying today, boys. God, I actually feel like that's doing so much damage to him. It's unreal. Whoa. We might have a really powerful spell on our hands. Which I'm obviously hoping for. Way. Fuck you, fuck you. Go, 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 go. The fact that that's like a, a full area of effect is really cool. It means so much fucking damage is done. Whoa. Give it a rest, man. Booyakashan. Go away. No. Undead things. Go away. <laughs> There we go. Fucking Spartan kick him. Fuck you. <laughs> Oi. They're all gone. They're all gone. Calm down, Prince. They're all gone. That was pretty damn impressive. Thank you. Your father wasn't the last hero of Albion after all. Apparently not. Oh, really? We did. Let the poets tell our epic tale. The Swift Brigade fought against impossible odds. They won. The end. Well, oh, so thrilling. You didn't do too bad for an old man. Neither did you. For a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was just like old times, Walter. Just like old times. So, what do you say? Will you join us? With your help, we can put a stop to Logan's madness. Bring back the real Albion army. I swore to serve my king to the death. We all did. But this isn't the way it was meant to be. The old guard has been shoved aside, and these new soldiers Logan's been gathering, they don't care about this land or its people. Yeah, and I bet they get paid more. Walter has absolute faith in you. And after seeing you in action, so do I. All I ask is that you... You fucking wouldn't if you saw me rent. Let your armies... Protect the people instead of oppressing them. Bring honor back to this uniform. Yeah, and don't forget the pay rise. Shut up, Ben. Okay, we can restore the old guard. I don't think that costs anything either. That man's bulge is massive. <laughs> Boom! Go into the road to rule. Three times within an hour, don't have a lot of guild skills to spend. <laughs> Gonna have to do some side quests if we wanna buy everything. Don't really think I need to buy everything. This has been a momentous day. With the support of Major Swift and his soldiers, the revolution grows in strength. And you move one step closer to becoming the leader this kingdom needs. Thank you. I love how, like, I've just worn the same outfit throughout, like, all of the Rebellion phase. We've finally got some combat upgrades. A Bully Expression Pack. A Theft Pack. Upgrade the Blacksmithing, yes, because we're about to start the Blacksmithing, so we definitely want to be getting that. And then I think that's it, they're just going to be upgrading the other jobs, and then we've got the upgrades for this, so... I'm trying to think of what side quests we've actually got to do, and I think there's the, the board game and the sewer mission, so I'm going to upgrade my melee. In theory, we should have like a fully hollow man sword at this point. <laughs> Boom. What's it look like? Whoa, okay. <gasps> That's really cool, I've never had that hilt before. Why has that got balverines on it? Ooh, I want to go have a look at the details of that. I've never had a, like, a blade and a base of the blade that looks like that. 
Oh, it's Hobbs. It's a hob. That's really cool. I feel like, yeah, I don't think I've ever had that. That's fucking badass. Then it's settled. Oh, I've got Simmons' head. Some people there I'm hoping will join us. We'll send for you when we're ready. Then I shall bid you good luck and farewell and well met. And just try not to get the rest of these lads killed, will you? We're gonna need you all. You always know what to say to keep morale up, Wally. Now get out of here. Farewell, my friend. Come on, you did good today. But we're just getting warmed up. Are we? Right, let me nip into here. I wanna have a look at my weapon. Uh, thank you. Um, right, let's have a look. Oh, look! Even that looks unique. That is still levelling up with it. I kind of want to sell the hammer. Because that 29,000... Oh, oh, that's a chunky amount. Uh, info. So your victories over Hollow Men has transformed... Oh, no. Your treasure hunting abilities have transformed the design of your weapon. That must be the blade, I'm guessing. That's definitely a hobhead. So, yeah, it doesn't say about the hobhead, though. But I've 100% never had that before. I don't know if maybe I just started using DLC weapons or something. But I've never had that before, and that's really cool. Um, real quick, I would like to equip this. There we go. Let's get out of here. Go to Bowerstone. So I don't think we have to stick with Walter for this. Okay. See you in a bit, Walter. You can't miss them. I think he ends up catching up anyway. I'm fairly certain we have to do a little bit of combat here. This reminds me of the area through Fable 2 before we get to Reaver's Town. There's like the cemeteries and stuff that you have to go through. I think we get captured and put in like a cage and stuff and then the dog brings us the key and all that sort of shit. And this reminds me quite a bit of it. I don't know what's down there. But we won't be going down there. We will be... Uh, only fast travelling back here, actually, in the future. I feel like I've skipped a lot of combat, unless Walter triggers it. I'm not bothered about that, come on. We need to get to Bowerstone. That's where all the money is. And speaking of, we're actually going to be able to buy some houses here, which is quite nice. There's like a, a little hippie, swampy village where we can buy some houses without having to do any quests or anything. Hello! I'm going to buy your houses! Super cheap as well, they're like in between the bright wall ones and the dwellers. And they give a lot, holy shit, 200. 200 per hoose. A tattooist. Let's buy a tattooist. I think also if we own a shop, we get discounted prices. I think that's the logic of the game. That's 6,000. We can't do that. We might be able to sell some stuff in there, though. 7,000. Fucking hell. We can buy that. Repair it. Adjust it, 228, boom, we're getting about 500, about 500 return from this place so far. Uh, oh, this was the food shop. I want to go inside the general store and see if I can trade some stuff. Because I might be able to sell some of the shit that I've got. I don't know how we actually sell stuff. I don't want to buy any of those. Maybe I can't sell stuff, uh, sell stuff here. I can't remember. I can't remember how to sell things. Romantic to view and purchase items, interact with the stands around the shop. Do we have to sell things inside the sanctuary instead? Let's have a look. I feel like... No. Mm. I think it's only in certain shops. I'll, I'll mess around with it off camera. Uh, because there's going to be a part where I, I think the side quests that we're going to be doing on camera aren't going to be enough for us to actually progress into the next section. So I'm going to be dabbling off camera anyway, doing a few other ones. 
and just overall getting some extra guild seals. Hello! We've descended into the chasms of the netherworld, stared death in the face, and waded through things so foul I'd rather not think about them. But this is where it gets real ugly. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people that Logan has left behind. 